want big screen entertainment on a small budget, then this Vivibrite F10 budget projector might be a great option for you. The F10 is very small and compact and great for permanent or temporary setups. The inputs on the back include one HDMI and two USB ports for digital media files. There's also a headset port for private listening. Up on top, there are button controls for full control of the setup menus. But the wireless remote will be way more convenient and it runs on two AAA batteries which are not included. Taking a look at the bottom, there's only a single tripod hole for mounting and a flip out leg that helps change the angle of the projector when it's placed on the table. And along with the remote, the only other thing included with the F10 is the power adapter cord. But let's get this powered up and attached to one of my light stands to see how the images look. As soon as I turn it on, I'm going to select the HDMI input for my Xbox. And by the way, an HDMI cable is not included. There's not much setup from here, but I'll give you a quick run through of the setup menus. In the picture mode, brightness and contrast can be adjusted. There are presets, but under the user setting, you can tweak these to your liking. You can also digitally shrink the image if you want to fit this onto the specific screen size. But the image size depends on how close the projector is placed from the wall. Shrinking it at 75% is the smallest setting here. You can also flip the image depending if this is ceiling mounted or projected from the front or rear of a screen. And even though this is a budget projector, the lens is made entirely of glass which is great for image quality. One of the last settings is a manual keystone adjustment, using a dial to compensate for the mounting angle. Now this is a native 720p projector, but the literature says that it's 1080p supported. What that means is that I can feed a 1080p full HD signal, but it will be converted down to 720p before projected onto the wall or screen. It'll still be HD, but not 1080p. For cooling, I found the fan in the F10 to be louder than others in regards to fan noise, especially if you sit close to it. But the good thing is that there's a built-in speaker that goes reasonably loud so you can still hear the content. I can also get a fairly large image on the wall, which is nice, but the only thing about large image sizes is that the further back I set the projector, the less bright it will be. Right now, it's in the middle of a sunny afternoon, and with my blinds and curtains drawn, I can still see the image pretty well. Right now, the projector is about 12 feet from my wall, but placing the projector closer will definitely help with the brightness. Before I forget, in addition to the HDMI input, you can use a USB drive to play music, video, and photo files. It's a nice feature that makes this portable projector even more portable. I can take it anywhere because of its small size and use it in places I normally wouldn't want to take a more expensive projector. And you can connect gaming consoles, computers, and media players to the Vivibrite F10. There are lots of uses for a $130 projector, which allows me to do more with it without having to spend a lot of money. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.